As we are anticipating the ultimate Vayera, Vayera which means God revealed himself to Abram as the story of the Parsha of this week, the ultimate Vayera, the ultimate revelation is the coming of Mashiach. So we got to do something about it. And this is, let us give, a, let us give some tzedakah, let's do it together in honor of this Shabbos Vayera. So we will have the revelation of Hashem. And this will bring the all safety, security, and the and the solace for what we are going through now. So many innocent lives, Jewish lives being lost. But while we are anticipating the ultimate Vayero, I want to share with you a few little Vayeros. Vayero, which means God revealed himself. I heard a story yesterday from someone who tells me he knows the details, he knows who it happened with. So I want to believe that it is the way he shared it with me. At the funeral of one of the victims, one of the martyrs, I should say, a young girl who was there at the festival, festival of peace, mowed down by most vicious, inhumane terrorists. So the funeral took place apparently these days. A sister who is personally more observant at the funeral she broke down and she said to God I'm starting to lose my faith in you how could something like this happen and as she's expressing her pain her deep pain suddenly a siren goes off and they see rockets flying. And in no time, a rocket lands literally right next to her, to this girl. Miraculously, it didn't explode. And she turns to God, Ivanti, Raiti. I understand, I see you telling me that you are here because there is no logical explanation of as to why this rocket didn't explode there was a message you sent to me saying I'm here with you you don't understand the lack of this bomb exploding so too you can't understand the tragedy it's beyond us but I'm here another little story which is doing the rounds in one of the kibbutzim, which unfortunately the majority of the kibbutz was decimated, one family has lately become Shomer Shabbat, observing Shabbat. And for that matter, on every Shabbat they would leave the kibbutz and they would go to the woman's family somewhere in Eretz Yisrael. This particular Shabbat of Simchat Torah, October 7. Since she's expecting and she's in a high month, she decided to stay home. She'll be more comfortable. But then, six o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, she heard those noises. And she realized that this is more than just a regular infiltration. She quickly grabbed the entire family, went to the safe room that they have, hiding over there. But she was able to hear conversations going out outside, going on outside. And she distinctly hears the Palestinian quote-unquote employee friend, one of the 500,000 Palestinians who work on a daily basis in Eretz Israel. And this particular individual has really become like a personal friend to the family. They would send gifts to his children back in Gaza. Now he's directing those murderers from home to home, telling them, here is this family, this is how many children they have, this is where they sleep, this is where they are. He knows the whole kibbutz. And she hears him saying when they come next to her house. And she says, and he says to those murderers, no need to go in over here, no need to stop over here. They never hear on Shabbos. They're always going away. So let's not waste time, let's not waste bullets, let's be more productive. And 
that's how they were saved. The Ben Yisraelim. We think that we observe Shabbos, we protect the Shabbos. Shabbos is protecting us. So on this Arab Shabbos, my dear friends, first of all, please encourage all your neighbors, all your friends that need encouragement to light the Shabbat candles. Invite them over for a Shabbat meal. Give them the opportunity to taste the beauty of the delights of a Shabbos. And it says, you will be keeping the, the candles of Shabbat. You'll be lighting the candles of Shabbat. I'm going to show you the candles, the light of Zion, the light of Mashiach. Please, Ebishter, the Shabbos would be just perfect.